Hi, I'm Kizzy Cox and this is What's the 411, bringing you the latest in entertainment news, sports and lifestyle. This year the New York African Film Festival is celebrating its 20th anniversary and it's doing so by looking back to its roots with the tribute to Usman Sembane, the father of African cinema, and also looking forward to a whole new set of filmmakers bringing the African experience to the big screen. You know, right, right here, this is like they're having a tribute from yeah. Mr. Usman Sembane and right. you're the biographer for him. What was it like? What was he like in person? Oh, uh, Semben was uh, an ordinary man who did extraordinary things. He had a very, very humble start in life and he realized that uh, really there is no faith or fate that cannot be cheated. So from those humble beginnings, he reinvented himself and thought in a very, very um, audacious way that he could also change Africa and change the world uh, by using a very powerful weapon, not with bullets, but with a film. So he thought with cinema he could change Africa and from his age 40 to his last breath, he devoted his life to exactly doing that. And people often ask me, oh, has he succeeded or has he failed? That is not the point. The point is that he did his share and he pointed to way and he also inspired a whole generation of Africans and people around the world, including me. So, I mean, without him and without his influence, do you think that the African cinema landscape would be what it is today? Well, that Semben is not the only filmmaker, but to tell the truth, I think he's the one who set the standard of African filmmaking and gave it a direction. And in a nutshell, yes, cinema is an industry. Yes, cinema is for entertainment. But Semben made film, yes, to make money, yes, to entertain, but mostly to awaken his people. Not for profit's sake, for human beings' sake. Wow, that's, that's really profound. Do you think that's what his legacy is, or that's what he would have wanted his legacy to be? That's how I remember Semben. He touched my life when I was a 17-year-old high school. Uh, up to that age, I only read French classics. So when you ask me, I would tell you, you ask about culture, I say, oh yeah, it's French culture. <laughs> when I read his masterpiece, Katsubis the Wood, I realized there is an African culture that had been silenced. So he touched me at age 17. Then I met him in 1989. I was a young 30-year-old man, assistant professor in the United States. He touched me a second time, transformed my choice from career to consciousness, to activism. I'm in the classroom. I write articles, I comment films. Yes, of course, I'm ambitious. Yes, I want for my career also, but Semben taught me you have to go beyond that, that your work has to be meaningful in life. So, so I think that Semben's legacy, that's how we influence the whole generation. And the fact that we are here today is not really to mourn his death, it's to celebrate his life.